Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Anaconda, which is a Python distribution on your Ubuntu operating system. So first of all, what is Anaconda? So Anaconda is a free and open source distribution of R and Python programming languages for data science and machine learning related applications. So let's see how we can install Anaconda. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for anaconda.com. And the first link which will obviously appear here will be from anaconda.com. So just go to this website, which is anaconda.com. And on the right hand top, you will be able to see this button which says download in green. So just click on this button and then just scroll down and you will be able to see the Linux is already selected here and the latest version of Anaconda at the time of making this video is Anaconda 5.2. Now you will also see here two version of Python which is available with this Anaconda installation. One is Python 2.7, other is Python 3.6. So what we are going to do is we are going to install the 3.6 version of Python. So I'm going to just click on this download button, which is going to start the download of this .sh file. So I'm going to just save it on my computer and I'm going to close this window. So now this anaconda.sh file is downloaded on my Ubuntu operating system. So let's see how we can install Anaconda using this .sh file. So on this download page where you have downloaded Anaconda.sh file, when you scroll down, you will be able to see these two links. One is how to get Python 3.5 and other Python versions and other is how to install Anaconda. So we will click on this link which says how to install Anaconda and let's see what is the official document saying. So first of all, we need to download this .sh file so that we have already done. Second step is we need to just verify the checksum. We are going to skip this step. And in the third step, we need to run the .sh file using this command, okay? So I'm going to just copy this command from here and then I'm going to open the terminal. You can open the terminal either by pressing Control alt t or by going to this show applications icon and then here searching for terminal and then open the terminal from here, okay? So once the terminal is open, I'm going to just minimize the browser first of all. And once the terminal is open, I can uh, either give this command, which is bash. And then because our .sh file is downloaded inside this downloads folder, so this command is enough to run the installer, okay? So I'm going to just press enter here and you can see the installation has been started and here we just need to press enter once again to continue. So I'm going to press enter and first of all, you need to read this license terms and conditions and if you agree with the license terms and conditions, you need to type yes here and then press enter. Now in the next step, you will be asked to provide the default location where you want to install Anaconda. So the default location is uh, this one. If you want to change it, or if you have the good reason to change this location, you can change it. But for now, I'm going to leave it as default. So I'm going to press enter, and then you will see the installation of the packages will start one by one. It will start all the packages related to Anaconda. So I will wait for the installation to complete. So now the installation of Anaconda is almost completed. And at last, it will ask you two questions. First question is, do you wish the installer to prepend the Anaconda install location to the path? And here you must ideally type yes. By mistake, I have pressed extra enter key here. So this step in my case is skipped. But if you see this question, you may want to type yes here, which will append this export to your bash RC. And now because I haven't typed yes here, I need to add this path manually to the bash RC file. Now the second question is, do you wish to install 
Microsoft Visual Studio Code. So if you want to install Microsoft Visual Studio Code, you can type yes, otherwise you can type no here. So in my case, I don't want to install Microsoft Visual Studio Code. So I type no here and then I come out of this terminal. But still, because I haven't typed yes here, so I need to open this .bashrc file. So I'm going to just copy this uh, path and then using gedit. So I'm going to just write gedit here and then the path which I have copied and then press enter here, which is going to open my .bashrc file. And at the end of the bashrc file, I just want to add this line of export. So I will just copy this export from here. And then at the end of this file, I will just add this export at the end. So just add this export to the end of bashrc if you haven't typed yes to this question. And then just save your bashrc file and then close it. And let's go to the website and let's see what it says at the end. So we have done every step here and at the end it says we need to run source bashrc file in order to reload this dot bashrc file into the terminals. So I'm going to just write source and then the path of the bashrc. You can also write dot bashrc from here also because bashrc is present into the home directory, right? So we can directly write bashrc here or we can give the whole path of bashrc which is this one and then I'm going to press enter which is going to reload this bashrc file into the terminal. So now Anaconda is installed on our Ubuntu operating system and let's see the last command which we can run. So the last command here which we can run is this Anaconda Navigator command and this command is going to launch the Anaconda Navigator. So let's run this command. Let me clear the terminal first of all and let's run this command which is Anaconda-Navigator and then press enter. And after a few seconds, you will be able to see this Anaconda Navigator here, okay? So you can click on OK and don't show this message again here. And you can see Anaconda comes with these pre-installed tools. So for example, Jupyter Lab is pre-installed, Jupyter Notebook is pre-installed, Qt Console is pre-installed, and also Spider IDE is pre-installed. In addition, you can install some of the packages from this Anaconda Navigator and these packages are GlueWiz, Orange 3 and you can also install RStudio and Visual Studio Code using this Anaconda Navigator. So to launch for example Jupyter Notebook you can just click on this launch button and Jupyter Notebook will be launched. Okay, But I want to show you how to launch Jupyter Notebook using the command line. So for now, I'm going to just close this uh, Anaconda Navigator and then I'm going to just say yes, which is going to close the Anaconda Navigator. So first of all, we will check whether Conda command is working fine on our Ubuntu operating system or not after installing Anaconda. So just write Conda info here and then press enter. And you will be able to see this output and here you will be able to see the version of Conda which is installed on our system. Also, you can uh, run the Conda list command. So just write Conda list and then press enter, which is going to print the list of all the packages which are already there on your Ubuntu operating system. Now let me clear the terminal once again. And now in order to open Jupyter Notebook, you need to type Jupyter Notebook here and then press enter, which is going to start the Jupyter Notebook on the default browser. So you can see Jupyter Notebook has been started on my default browser. Now in order to create a Jupyter project, I can go to the location where I want to save my project. So let's say I want to save my project in the documents directory. And then on the top right hand side, I can create a folder here. So let me create a folder. So when you click on create folder, unnamed folder will be created and then you can check this checkbox and then rename this folder to whatever folder you want. So for example, I'm going to name this folder as Python and then click rename and this folder will be created. 
so inside this python folder so when i am inside this python folder i can just click on new once again and then click on python 3 and this will open this new window and in this new window you can run python command so for example i'm going to just uh, give some python expression here 5 plus 5 and to execute this command you need to press shift enter which will execute this command okay once again i'm going to declare a variable let's say x is equal to 6 and when i press enter without the shift it's going to give me the next line and here i can uh, write some more expression and when i press shift enter it's going to execute that command okay so this is how you can execute commands on jupyter notebook now i can also save this file so you can see this is now right now untitled so i can just click on this untitled uh, text here and i can give uh, some name here so i'm going to just give first underscore notebook and then i'm going to click on rename which is going to rename this file but still you can see unsaved changes so to save these changes you need to click on file and then click on save and checkpoint and once again when i open the terminal so i'm going to open the new terminal and on the terminal i will go to the location where i have created this file so cd documents and then uh, python and here when i do ls you will see this file is created which is first notebook which is the name of my file you can see here with the extension ipynb okay so you, this is how you can run the jupyter notebook using the terminal you can also launch this jupyter notebook using anaconda navigator also now let me close this browser and let me also close this uh, notebook jupyter server so in order to close this jupyter notebook server you just need to press ctrl c here and then press y and then press enter and you will come out of this server so i'm going to close this terminal once again and on the next terminal this time i want to start the spider ide using this terminal so just write spider and then press enter and if you see this message which says segmentation fault or any other error you can first of all update the spider version using the conda command so just write uh, conda update spider and then press enter which is going to update the version of spider on your ubuntu operating system and once you have updated the version of spider using conda you can also run this command which is conda install and then pi open gl okay and then press enter once again and now you just need to press y to proceed and once this command is successful we are going to run the spider command once again in order to launch the spider and you can see the spider is now open so first of all i'm going to click on ok here and in order to run some command or run this python script i can uh, for example write something here so i just want to write 5 plus 5 and then i can select this line which i have uh, written which is 5 plus 5 and then press shift enter in order to execute this command and you will see here the output of this expression is printed here if you want to execute the whole file for example i will just write here print and inside the parentheses i will just print uh, hello world and i will save my file and i can also press this green button which is used to run your python file and you can see hello world is again printed once again i will just correct the spelling of hello here and then once again i'm going to run this program and you can see this script has been executed by this spider ide and the output you will be able to see on the console here so this is how you can download and install anaconda with jupyter notebook and spider ide i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video